Hello and welcome to the first video of this channel. Today we're going to be doing a dynamic health bar. So if I hit the left mouse button like that, bam, the health bars appear, the zombies take damage, and the health bar also rotates towards the player and then disappears after some time. You can download this scene and the scene after we finish this project from the links down below. So be sure to check it out or just do it on your own. So let's get into it. We have a simple scene set up here with a Zombie asset from the asset store is just a free random zombie asset with a walk animation. Then we have a FPS controller from the Unity standard assets right here. Uh, characters, I think, and first person, right? And just drag them up that prefab up there. And what's really important here is that the camera game object, like the game object that has the camera on it, is tagged as main camera right we're gonna be using that tag so be sure in your project that the main camera is tag main camera or just tag your player as player for example and then i'll tell you tell you where that's important first thing i want to do is look at the zombie it has a move zombie script so if you start the game right here we can see the zombie just walking around in circles right and that's um, because we have a move zombie script which we can just look at past here we just get the transform of the object at, in the start function and then we just add to the position and rotate him around so he walks in circles so let's start by creating our health bar prefab so right click on your zombie prefab um, and create empty and reset the transform if it's not reset and rename it to let's say health bar transform right click on that again on the health bar transform this time and go to ui and canvas somewhere yep down here now let's rename that to health bar prefab and set this canvas to world space and reset the transform of it and if you look at it it's gonna be huge so we want to scale it down to like 0 0.01 just to make it smaller for now and then We can click on the health bar transform and drag that bad boy up here. So just somewhere where you want your future health bar to be at. So let's, you can also like uh, sec uh, select an icon for it. Like so let's select like this, and this is I think a good spot for it. Now go back to the health bar prefab and select the rec tool. And if you click on it and then hit Alt on your keyboard, you can just size it down both. Um, directions at one time and I think this would be like a good size for a health bar now right click on the health bar prefab and go to UI and select image and now in the image script I also have prepared something like these three sprites uh, so go to texture type default and select 2d and UI and apply that and these are just some PNGs I downloaded from, I think, opengamer.org or something like that. I'll probably link it down below. So now let's go to the image component of the health bar prefab and select the background first. Now resize that to your likings. Again, if you click on it, hit all, it's going to resize centered, which is pretty awesome. And sure, this is, I guess, it good size of it and make sure that it's like inside the canvas it's just gonna render faster if it's inside the canvas so now go to the image rename this to background and now duplicate it twice and this is very important the first okay well the second the second one in the hierarchy or this first duplicated one is gonna be the slider and the last one is gonna be the foreground um, it has to be like this so that the foreground has priority over the slider and the background has the least priority. So now again, select the slider, select the red one and foreground, click on the image source image and select the foreground. And we already see a nice looking health bar. Now go to the slider and it is image type. We want to select filled and fill method. We want it horizontal. Now, if I drag and drop the fill amount, it's going to be the other way around, I guess. So fill origin, just select it so it's a, it goes from the right to the left like that. And that is pretty awesome. Now we can select our health bar transform and just uh, so it doesn't show an icon. And just leave it there for a second and go back to our zombie. So and our scripts folder, create a new script. Let's call this a health script. 
go to your zombie and drag and drop the health script on there and open it up in your favorite editor. So, first off, delete everything that's there and make, let's make a serialized field. Let's call this a private int and a max health and also a private int which is going to be the current current health dang it we, this doesn't have to have to be serialized we just want to like look at it for like our purpose right it doesn't it should not be a serialized field in your game actually it's just nice to have for like debugging purposes i guess and now we want to get, make a getter for that so these variables we want them to be private but we want just to access the value of them so let's make a public max health and just return the value of max health whoops i forgot the end like that and the same thing for public into let's call this current health with capital letters dang it and return the current health like that that's just a getter like a faster way of writing a getter for an integer or basically every value now we want a serialized field again and this is going to be a, a private transform and let's call this health bar transform like that so let's make it just a simple start function then it start function and assign the current the current health just make that equal to max health we also want to be using system because we want uh, to uh, use actions a public event um, action which is going to take in one integer and a second one and let's call this uh, on health changed and this is going to be a delegate delegate and like that whoops we do this we do this right here so we don't have to null check it every single time this is going to make this health bar dynamically appear disappear and just work perfectly so bear with me if you're new to this right? make a public void take damage which is going to take in a amount and here we want to check if this game object actually has already a health bar so we can check it like this if on health changed dot get invocation list and dot uh, get length i think it's no just length yep is less or equal to one then we want to create a health bar just like that and else we just want to do current health minus equals amount and also we want to call the on health changed with the current health and the max health like that just simple and now we also need a way to take damage so just make a private uh, void update and just check if the input this is for demonstration purposes only right so input dot get mouse button down and just check for the left mouse button so if someone presses the left mouse button this game object is going to take let's say 25 damage just for demonstration purposes you now we need to create a health bar right so let's go back into unity let's create a new c sharp script let's call this just a health bar let's call it health bar and open it up and just delete this again and we want to be using using unity engine dot ui in here and now this is going to be a little bit more difficult let's make a serialized field just a image and let's call this a health bar slider so, so make just this so everyone knows it's private this we want to assign this in the inspector so just to make it easier on us and also make a private float a disappear time and a uh, time since last change this is just going to be so the health bar can disappear after some time next up we want a private float uh, change speed so the health bar if we hit someone and, and he takes damage we just want the health bar to go down slowly over time we are going to make i guess an enumerator or something like that for that 
and then we want a private health script reference so let's call this health script and a private transform let's call this main cam transform and this transform we we do need this because imagine a player is like right here and he hits the zombie right the health bar needs to rotate towards the player and same thing like if you're up here or if you're even like behind him or like a way up here if we hit someone the health bar always needs to rotate towards us so if, okay let's make a public function and call this set uh, up health bar bar and we want a game object the parent game object also a float a disappear time and a float a let's call this change change speed and here the disappear time is obviously going to be equal to the disappear time the change speed is going to be equal to the change speed now main cam transform is going to be equal to the camera dot main dot transform and if you're not sure if you have a main camera just check if the camera dot main is equal to null i'm not going to do this because it's really unnecessary for me but just do it right and now next up set up the health script is going to be equal to the parent game object dot get component and just get the health script like that so next up, i just create a function here let's call this a private void let's say on health changed like that i guess and this is going to take in two integers in current health and in max health here in the setup health bar function we want to go to the health we want to access the health script and the on health change function and subscribe our on health changed function to it right so if this function gets called this function will automatically also get called right? this function here right in the script and the two integers we had are going to be these two let's integers. go to the uh, what's it called time since last change and reset that so and also an important thing is if we hit an enemy and the health bar disappears after some time just as we want it to like once we hit him again we don't want the health bar to be at full health most of the time right we want it to be at the health at, that we left that enemy off setup function we have to set up the fill amount to the current percentage let's make a float let's make a slider start percent and let's make this equal to the health script dot um, we had a current health getter divided by let's cast this to a float because this needs a percent like so a number in between one and uh, in between zero and one so let we have to cast the second one to a float and just do it by writing float in parentheses in front of it and make a health script and max health i think right yeah awesome and now just go to the health bar slider dot fill amount and make that equal to the slider start percent like that and yeah we are done with the setup function wasn't too bad was it and so okay let's leave this alone for a while and go let's make a enumerator so make a okay, private i numerator and call this health slider change i guess and make this take a float fill okay let's make this end fill percent and in here we want to change the health bar over time right the fill amount to from the start to the end over like let's say the change speed right here which we pass in so let's make a float time elapsed and make this set this to zero also make a float start fill percent and make this equal to the health bar slider dot fill amount so we can start somewhere fill amount dang it what am i doing in here dot fill amount and also let's make a while loop while the time elapsed is less than the change speed also let's rename this probably to like change time 
and you can rename this just by simply selecting it and then hitting Control and R R like twice R right and holding Control while doing that. Just a simple way to just rename more variables at once. So in the value, we want to set up the health bar slider. There dot fill amount to a math f dot lerp, and as we can see, it takes in a float a, float b, and float uh, time. Let's say. So float a is going to be the start fill amount. So let's make a start fill amount fill percent. The float B is going to be the end fill percent, fill percent, and the um, T is going to be the time elapsed divided by the, what's it called, um, ch change time. We will lerp in between these two numbers, and this is going to be the percent of the lerp, I guess you could call it. Let's make a time elapse, and like we have to add the time dot delta time to this, so we increase the time, and because it's a enumerator, we have to return no like that the return null so that's that's pretty much it for that and we also need one more function we want a private void destroy health bar and all we want to do in here is health script dot on health changed we want to unsubscribe our function which is very important and because we could get a null, re null reference if we call it and we don't unsubscribe it which is never a good thing and then just destroy the game object and let's do this after a change time so we want to destroy the game object after some time because like when the enemy is at like let's say 10 health and we shoot him we want the health bar to go down and then disappear right not just disappear right away Let's check if the current health is less or equal to zero. We want to destroy the health bar. This is going to invoke the destroy health bar right there. This is going to invoke the destroy function after some time and unsubscribe our unhealth changed from the health bar script. Let's also reset the time since last change to zero fold and we using this because once the once the uh, time since last change is bigger than the disappear time, we will just remove this health bar. And that's why we want to reset it every single time the player takes damage, or the game object, whatever this sit on, sits on, takes damage. We want to just reset this so with the health bar it will still be alive. Load health percent. Let's calculate the health percent. Let's make it a current as uh, equal to current health divided by let's cast this to a float again by the max health and then just start a coroutine we want to start the health slider change and pass in the health percent like that and the last thing we need in here is the late update function let's make it up here late update like that and what we want to do in here is check if the time since last change is bigger than the disappear time. If it is bigger, then just destroy the health bar object like that and yeah, invoke it right again. So in here, we want to do a time since since last change plus equals time dot delta time. Just add onto it and then transform dot look at and do it two times the main can transform minus transform dot position we have to do it this way b dang it uh dot position right and yeah we have to do it this way because it's else it's rotated by 180 degrees around right but yeah we're done with that script for now so let's get back into unity and set that script up script up so let's go to our health bar prefab and add the script the health bar script to it and here the in the image component just drag and drop the slider right the slider has to be dragged and dropped in dropped in here and i'll also create a prefabs folder i don't think i have one it's a folder and prefabs and then drag and drop the health bar in here and then just delete the health bar well, let's create an empty game object let's call it health bar manager uh, you can call it whatever you want it's just going to be an object which a instance script is going to sit on and let's call this health bar manager you might want to call it like an in-game ui and put just more things on it right a 
this is going just to this is just going to be an instant hold one reference and just create our health bar dynamically right so let's open that up in your favorite editor and let's create a singleton first off so let's make a region okay, let's call it singleton and then make, make a end region like that awesome and this is just so we can collapse it in our editor and don't worry about it but let's make a public static reference to the health bar manager and let's call this instance and in the awake function assign the instance if the instance is equal to null whoops to l we want to make the instance equal to this script else I can make a debug.log and we messed up big time this should well this is not supposed to happen ever and then destroy this so this is just going to be a reference so we can access this script from every single script in the game we have it twice in our uh, in our hierarchy the script let's say we duplicate on accident our health bar manager then we kind of let's not worry about time. that you can just if you have a region in the visual studio or basically any c sharp editor you can just collapse it down but that's not what we want to do in here let's make a serialized field again and a private uh, game object reference to a health bar prefab so and also a serialized field let's call this a private float and i think we had it called disappear let's call it health bar disappear Peer time and a health bar change change time again change speed i don't know which one we had let's do it like that and then we just make a public function so we can access it again from every single script a public void uh, let's call this uh, spawn health bar and then pass in a game object which is going to be the parent game object and then a trans transform and this is going to be the health bar transform in here we just want to instantiate the health bar so let's make a game object let's call it health bar and do a instantiate function instantiate if i think the second overlord or whatever it is and let's make the health bar prefab health bar prefab like that and instantiate it at the transform right you see the second overload of this function and just do it at the health bar transform like that and then just access the just and then just access the uh, get component and just get the health bar component on this on this prefab and then call the set up function set up health bar function and we want to pass in the parent gay object the disappear time health bar disappear time and the health bar change speed like that and you're basically done just assign some references and then we can look at it simple and easy so go to the app manager add the script the uh, thing so go to the health bar manager and then add component and health bar manager go to your prefabs folder prefabs right here and assign the health bar prefab uh, let's set up a disappear time at five seconds and change speed of like 0.75 sure and next up we want to whoop, whoop, whoop. we want to go to the zombie and set up the max health to like a hundred and the health bar transform just drag and drop this transform in here and this is useful because if we look at it like that like bam okay now this looks ridiculous let's make it green the health bar transform if you have more characters with different sizes you can reuse this script and just drag drag and drop your transform in there whatever like position you want it to be let's say if you have a, a dinosaur or like a huge thing in there an animal you want the transform to be like right off or like maybe a little bit off to this side not not centered over the like pivot point of the object you can just drag and drop it around you have to go to the health script and actually instantiate our health bar right so and here just go to the just call the health bar manager and again we have made an instance so we can access it and then just call the i think it's called spawn spawn 
spawn health bar right there and what we want to pass in the uh, and we want to pass in the game object the zombie for this instance and the health bar transform like that and this should actually work right now hopefully so let's go to unity let it compile and just start your game and look what happens so now if we start the game we see a zombie walking around and if i hit the left mouse button bam the health bar appears and slowly drizzles his health and again bam and now if i wait a while it will disappear just like so and if i hit it again it just reappears and if i hit it again it drains his health to zero and then he should basically die right let's try this with two zombies let's just duplicate the zombie like that just Control d just change the radius to something larger and hit play now we have two zombies we did not change anything and if i hit the left mouse button both will take damage and again and again and then the health bar will disappear and it rotates around so the player can actually see it from everywhere and if i am behind them and hit them bam the health bar appears so that i can see it and then they die off if you like this video and or found it useful consider liking the video subscribing and comment down below what i should change up for the next tutorial or even what i should do for the next tutorial and yeah see you in the next one bye